Hey guys, TJ here. The topic today is centered around um, really my story and something that has been a uh, very long personal journey for me. And I'll start by just sharing a, a quick couple minutes around um, where I was at in life a few years ago. I think this will resonate with some of you guys. So, you know, everybody was getting up and going to their job and I was at an apartment by myself, um, kind of like in a state of disarray. I was questioning, you know, whether the path I was on was going to be sustainable. My mind was like out of control in a lot of ways. And what I mean by that is I just couldn't get control of my thoughts. I, for whatever reason, I'd wake up and I just have like brain fog or racing thoughts. And that was very unusual for me. I, uh, I didn't have the energy to really get after, you know, working out or, um, you know, I was trying to, the energy I did have, I was, I was broke. So I was trying to figure out how to grow a business and make money. And, uh, and, you know, there's only so much capacity that you have. And so I had reached what I would say is like max capacity pretty quickly each day. And I felt like a total loser for lack of better words. I just felt like a total loser. I felt like, man, you know what? There is absolutely there's, I was on such a path of success in other people's eyes. And now if they looked at me and they actually knew what was going on, I feel like a total loser. And on, and, and here's the problem. I was always good at keeping an image and I, I still am good at keeping an image. And, and the thing that I mean about that is like, this is the irony of it. I'm good at being vulnerable while still maintaining an image. And so I only let people in so far and and they think I'm being vulnerable, which I am by maybe like majority of the world view, but, but reality is I'm not being truly vulnerable or open to uh, subject to somebody's opinion, really like hurting me, letting them see the hurt within me. And, um, and so I, what I found is that I, I faced a lot of internal struggle during this time and lack of motivation and self questioning. And I think a lot of people are facing that right now. And I, I, can't just, can't just say I think. I Actually, I know a lot of people are facing that because I'm in those conversations regularly. And so the topic today, I, didn't, I had an idea of talking about timing, but really I think I'm just going to talk about my story and how that can relate to people who are facing something similar in the time of their life that they're in. So one thing that's important in understanding is when, um, and this is not a conversation about race, I'm not meaning to do that, but when Dr. King was in Chicago, a lot of people were upset with him during the civil rights, civil rights movement. A lot of people were upset with him because he went to Chicago and it like brought out the worst in Chicago. And people were upset with him because they were like, man, you brought all this hate to Chicago by, by coming in here, going to the projects, marching around, you brought all this hate out of Chicago. And he said, look, people want to blame the doctor for identifying the cancer. But the reality is the doctor didn't create the cancer. The doctor just showed what was already there. And I think for a lot of people, they wanna blame the situation, but the situation didn't necessarily create the problem. The situation just highlighted what was already there. And I think that's a word for somebody right now. I think that's a word for somebody. The situation didn't necessarily create the problem. The problem has been there. The situation is just highlighting what's been there. And it gets to a point where you can no longer hide it, where your choices that you've made up until this point have led you to be where you are today. And all it took, all it took was one change in the, in the environment, in your circumstance. To highlight that, right? And that's a gift. Why is it a gift? Because it's really hard to address something that you don't know exists. It's really hard to address something you don't know exists. And for a long time, man, I was so down on myself because I felt powerless. I was like, man, I have no control to, to change some of these things that are in my life. Like I try to get business. I try to get healthy. I try to do these things and I just can't because A, B, C, D excuse. And the reality is I had some control over that situation of getting healthy and making money. And I didn't have some control over it. 
But to act like I had no control, that's just not accurate. I had control before I got to that point. I just didn't have the awareness I needed because I hadn't allowed myself to see it. And so I think a lot of people are allowing themselves to see things right now, maybe not necessarily by their choice, but it's a good thing that you can see some of these things in your life right now because you're able to identify what might need to change. Now, here's the big problem. You can't change 10 years of poor choices in 24 hours. You can't change 10 years of choices that led you to be burned out in 24 hours. Your body's just not going to respond that way. That's not how we're designed. You have to commit to the next year, three years, five years of making better choices. You don't go out in the field, plant the seed, and then go check on it the next day to see if it's growing. You have to water it. You have to protect it. You have to nurture it. You have to allow that thing to grow. And you know what? You're going to have to give probably more than one seed an opportunity to grow because if we're just banking everything on one seed, but we're not guaranteed that seed is going to grow. So we need to be out in the field doing the work. That means the hard work of actually tilling the soil, getting that soil right. We need to be planting the right seeds. If you want orange trees, you got to plant orange seeds. Otherwise, if you don't know what you want, then you're going to get whatever comes out, right? So you have to be intentional here. You have to know what you're trying to see in the fruit of your life. Are you trying to live a life of peace? Well, you got to plant seeds of peace. Can't be around all these people causing you that much anxiety who haven't found peace in their own life, right? Now, it's not to, to ignore the fact that other people, you know, are, you don't need to be around perfect people. That's not what I'm saying. But it is to say, if you're working on peace in your life, then being around people who are filled with anxiety all the time might not be the right people for you right now. If you're working on being debt free, then being around people who are overwhelmed in debt and telling you to get into more debt are probably not the right people for you right now. Right. So it's understanding what you want to see change in your life and then planting those seeds to see those seeds grow. And it's going to take a lot of work. It's also going to take time, but it's not just something that happens over time. Right. There's this idea of like, well, everybody heals just with time. And that's not true. It takes work. It takes work. You actually have to see like change in your life. You can't just have, I've seen people spend a decade not grieving the loss of a loved one. And they're still stuck in that same place that they were. They just have spent a decade now in that same place. Okay, time doesn't heal everything. It's the work that's required in that process and experiencing the truth that you need to have in that process to heal you during that time. And the same is true when it comes to whatever results you're looking for, whether it's healing, whether it's changing how you approach your finances, how you approach relationships, whether it's your career path and trajectory that you're trying to create for your life, whether it's peace. We need to, we need to be thinking about the work that's required of us in that time. And if we're really focused on something, that, that's what we need to be spending our time and energy towards. That's what we need to be spending our time and energy on. We need to be spending it on those things rather than just sitting in our own stress and misery because we're not addressing our priorities. And I see a lot of people doing that. A lot of people are doing that right now. They take it out on other people. I've lived this. I've lived this. I know what this feels like. You take it out on other people, your significant other, your loved ones, the people around you, because you're not addressing your own priorities and you're just pissed off at everybody as a result. And so you become irritable, you become moody. What do you need to be healthy? Take care of that first. Do the things that you need to do. Start there and then start thinking about everybody else and, and what capacity you have for them. Now, I'm speaking to a specific person. I'm not saying be selfish. I'm saying be focused. Be focused. I'm speaking to the person who has a tendency to give everything that's inside of them to everybody else. They live a boundaryless life because they were raised by boundaryless people. Guess what? I understand. I'm speaking to you because boundaryless life will spread you thin. 
And you're going to wake up one day and say, what happened? What happened? How did I get here? How did I find myself? I used to be so productive. I used to be successful and, and I don't know, happy. And now I can't even get a good night's sleep. I can't even wake up with ease. I can't even feel motivated, have energy. I don't even feel like I want to do anything. And, and those are real outcomes of choices that we've made. So I want to give you your power back today and just let you know that you have new choices to make. And you're going to have those same new choices to make tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But you got to commit to making them. And you got to commit to a timeline longer than what, probably what you expect, right? A farmer doesn't go out in the field on day one, get the soil ready, have it ready by day two, plant the seed by day three, have it grow by day four, harvest. That's just not how it works. And if you've been maybe planting the wrong seeds or doing the wrong work, the work that's maybe you were trying to harvest, but you really needed to be working on the soil, guess what? You might've been able to get away with it for a while, but then all it takes is one drought. All it takes is one infestation from the insects. All it takes is one pandemic. All it takes is one job change that's outside of your control. All it takes is one you fill in the blank. And next thing you know, you got to reevaluate. And it's a good thing that you have to reevaluate because if you want to live sustainably, if you want to build a house you're going to live in the rest of your life, you got to be thinking about the choices that you need to make to do that. And you got to be committed to the process. You got to be committed to the process. So I'll leave you with this. There's the farmer in the field. You got to be out there doing the work to till the soil and get it right. Then you got to plant the seeds. Then you got to water it. Then you got to protect it. And then you got to harvest it. What stage are you in? What season are you in? What have you been doing? And what do you need to be doing? As soon as we put ourselves in that new perspective or we have that new lens, we can have a lot more peace knowing that we're doing what we need to be doing. But if you're planting seeds and you haven't even worked the soil, if you haven't even got a place where you know those seeds are gonna be in a good environment to grow, then start with the soil. Start with the soil. If you're trying to harvest, but you haven't spent any time or energy thinking about the seeds that you really want to see grow, the results you really want to see in your life. You can say, I want to be making $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, whatever it might be. But if you haven't been sowing those seeds, then those are just things that you think about. You can't just manifest that into the existence without doing the work. It's, it's not a law of attraction thing here. This is like the reaping what you sow thing here. You have to be thinking about what you want to see in your life. And you have to be thinking about what you do to get those results. And when you think about those things and what part of the process you're in, you're going to be able to have a lot more peace knowing you're doing, you're doing the right thing for the results you're hoping to be getting. Okay. So I hope that that resonates with you guys. I wanted to give you just a, a shorter message because I know that this is something that a lot of people are facing right now. I would love to hear from you. You can find me on Instagram, LinkedIn. You can, um, you can visit my website, all TJ Loeffler, T-J-L-O-E-F-F-L-E-R. Um, if you guys are ever interested in coaching, we'd love to hear from you. We are invitation and referral only. Uh, all that means is we just have to go through a process, an application process to see if it's a good fit for us. But if you're going through your personal awakening, if you're recognizing that what you've been doing and how you got to where you are is not how you're going to get to where you want to be. We help people, we help leaders like you guys heal, change, and grow, whether it's personally or professionally. We've seen a lot of different results, family reconciliation, people making more money. I mean, to us, there's nothing better than the transformation of the heart, but there's a lot of overflow that happens in your life when you get your heart right. So um, we'd love to hear from you guys. We're always interested in, in talking with people and, and getting to know you guys because that's really how we, we also grow. We learn a lot from you. And we've got an amazing community that we've been building over the last few years. So we'd love to have you guys be a part of that. If this podcast episode or any of these episodes resonate with you, we'd love for you guys to, to not only 
like this, uh, you know, give it a rating and review, uh, but also share it with somebody. That's the best thing you can do is share, share this message with somebody if you think that they would benefit from it, a family member, coworker, friend, even a stranger, shoot. We'd love for you guys to share this message with people because that, that really adds a lot of value to our lives knowing that we're making a positive impact and, um, and getting a message that is going to empower people to live healthier, happier lives. So thank you guys for being here. We appreciate you.